Hi, we got a complaint from one of the customers that this outdoor pure injector doesn't power the access point he have from the UV crit. Then he changed the pure injector to another supplier and it works. And in this video, I'm going to talk about why it doesn't work and what is the main reason. Also, what is the workaround? First, let's create a symptom. This is the access point from TP-Link. TP I don't have the access point from the Ubiquit, but their design is quite similar. Now, let me just power this access point by using this outdoor PO injector. You can see the indicator is not on, which means this outdoor PO injector didn't send the power to this access point. But if we change to this indoor version, now let's see. It did worse, and also the indicator is on. So why one is working, another doesn't work? I think first thing I would like to give you a brief idea about how the PoE system works, so we can understand what is the reason. In the standard PoE, there always has the power hand shaking. Before the PoE injector or PoE switch send the power to your access point or PoE IP camera, you need to classify and verify your edge device. If your edge device doesn't compatible with the standard PoE, it, it, it's not going to send the power. But the problem is still here. Why this one refused to send the power, but the indoor version will send the power. Now let's take a look at the specification from the TP-Link. From here we can see the power option. This access point can take in is standard PoE, also the passive PoE, passive PoE. That's something which is very strange because in the standard PoE system, there's not allowed to have the DC 24 volt passive PoE. But how this stuff, I mean, this product decide to work with both standard PoE and passive PoE. Now, let me explain. This is the KFIE Ethernet cable. In the old PoE standard, which is the PoE and PoE Plus, only half of the twist pair is being used to send the power. So the TP-Link or Ubiquit, it just remove the half of the twist pair to send the DC 24 voltage passive PoE. So inventory, you can see it's saying this product can work with both standard PoE and passive PoE. It, there's no problem if we are still using the old PoE standard like the PoE and PoE Plus. But if we are using the new PoE standard, the new PoE standard is going to use all the four twist pair to send the power, both one, two, three, six, and four, five, seven, eight. So in this case, we can increase the power budget from 30 watt to 90 watt. This is the standard PoE IEEE AO2.3BT. Now the problem comes up because this PoE injector, this outdoor version, is using the latest PoE standard, which can output up to 60 watt. It means this PoE standard is going to send, try to send the power through all th those cables. Then when this PoE PoE injector try to send the power to the passive PoE pin, which only can take in DC 24 volt. Then this PoE injector will detect and find there's some problem with this PoE access point because you will see this is not the standard equipment. So that is the reason why this PoE injector will refuse to send the power to this PoE access point. But you see, working with this PoE injector with the old PoE standard, there's no problem. All right, let me run another quick test. This is the Netgear access point. It doesn't use any passive PoE. I mean, 
I don't judge, but I know why the reason the TP Lin or Ubiquit is using the passive PoE injector because I think just about the cost for that injector. Anyway, and now let me just power this up. You see, there's no problem. The PoE injector is sending the power to this Netgear access point. So if you are using the Cisco or Netgear, you will never see the 24 volt passive PoE. Okay, now the last thing is what is the workaround? If you do have this PoE late injector with the latest standard, but your device like the tp Lin or Ubiquit is try to integrate both passive, passive and standard PoE together, then the workaround is you can use the cable, just remove the spare part. Then just leave half of the tree pair to send the power to this access point. Then it's going to work. Because I believe in this kind of setup, most of the case, you are going to have the, like the wireless bridge or using the mesh network. So there's no need to use this cable to send the data. You just need to use this cable to send the power. So there's no problem if you just remove the half of the tree pair, only leave the data tree pair to send the power. All right, that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching.